Porto Rico is the capital and largest city of Montenegro. The city is known for its mix of architectural style from Ottoman and Austro-Hungarian to modernist buildings. It's also situated near the confluence of Ribnica and Moraka rivers and is surrounded by picturesque mountains. I'm Jamshid Beg, known as JB the Adventurer, a solo traveler and a travel blogger from Manchester, England with over 30 years of travel experience. In today's adventure, we are diving headfirst into the heart of Montenegro, exploring the vibrant city of Porto Rica. We will be uncovering hidden gems, learning about the history, indulging delicious local cuisine, and experiencing the rich culture that this city has to offer. So let's not waste any time and jump right into it. Before we dive into the city's charms, let's start with a bit of a history. Puerto Rico, the capital of Montenegro, has a rich and complex past. It's been known for various names throughout history and has witnessed many significant events. Our first stop is the vibrant Independence Square. Independence Square is the heart of Puerto Rico. This place is a true testament to Montenegro's rich history and its struggle for independence. Independence Square was officially named on May 24, 2006 when Montenegro declared independence from the State Union of Serbia and Montenegro. The square is a hub of activity surrounded by historic buildings and a lively atmosphere. Another fantastic aspect of Independence Square is the cafe culture. Locals and tourists alike love to sit here, enjoy a cup of coffee and people watch. One of the most visited landmarks of Puerto Rico is the Millennium Bridge. The architectural marble connects the city and is a symbol of Puerto Rico's progress and vision for the future. It was designed by the renowned architect Sir Norman Foster and structural engineer Sir Anthony Carroll. The design incorporates a stunning combination of steel and glass giving it the futuristic look. Next stop is the Old Town Puerto Rico, known locally as Stari Grad. The Old Town is the historical core of the city. It has a rich and varied history that dates back to ancient times. The area where Old Town Puerto Rico stands today has a history that can be traced back over two millennia. In antiquity, the town was known as Birziminium and was part of the Roman province of Dalmatia. During Roman rule, it served as a significant settlement along the ancient road network connecting the Adriatic coast with the Balkan interior. 
After the fall of the Western Roman Empire, the town came under Byzantine control and continued to be an important center. It was frequently mentioned in medieval documents and served as a military stronghold against various invaders. In the late 15th century, the Ottoman Empire conquered the region and Byzimenium became known as Ribnica. Under the Ottoman rule, the town expanded and gained prominence as a trade center. Over the centuries, the town underwent several name changes reflecting the influence of different empires. It was known as Ribnica, Byzimenium, and Podgorica. As we stop into the old town, you will feel like you have entered a different era. These cobblestone streets are steeped in history with centuries-old architecture. These cobblestone streets are a real treat for the sense. You can feel the history beneath your feet as you wander through this living museum. Podgorica is not only the capital of Montenegro but also home to a diverse array of communities, including a thriving Muslim community. We are going to spend the day learning about their way of life, traditions and the beautiful culture they bring to this city. Our first stop is the Bajrakali Mosque, one of the most significant mosques in Puerto Rico. Let's head inside and learn about its history and importance to the local Muslims community. One of the most beautiful aspects of any culture is its traditions. Today, we are fortunate to experience some of the rich traditions of Muslim community here in Puerto Rico. The Bnika Bridge is an iconic historical landmark that carries significant cultural and architectural importance. Ribnica Bridge is one of the oldest bridges in Puerto Rico and has a rich history dating back to the Ottoman Empire's rule in the region. The bridge was originally built in the 15th century during the Ottoman era making it over 500 years old. It showcases classic Ottoman architecture with its stone structure, semicircular arches and beautiful stonework. The bridge is not only a functional structure but also a symbol of the city's resilience and historical significance. Today, the bridge is a popular tourist attraction in the Porto Grica, drawing visitors who admire its architectural beauty and want to learn about its history. The river at the bridge had played a significant role in the city's development over the centuries. The area around the bridge offering picturesque views of the surrounding landscape, making it a great spot for the photography and leisurely walks. As we conclude our exploration of Ribnica Bridge, I am reminded of how history and modernity coexist in this city. The bridge stands as a bridge not only across the river, but also across time, connecting the past to the present.
Our final destination for today is the impressive clock tower, which is a true symbol of Porto Rico. This towering structure not only keeps time but also stands as a symbol of Porto Rico's rich heritage. The clock tower was built back in 1867. during the Ottoman Empire's rule in Montenegro. It was originally part of the city's fortress and served as a guard tower. Over the years it underwent several renovations and transformations and today it's not just a timekeeper but also a cultural gem of the city. Exploring the world and sharing these exciting adventures with you is a passion of mine. Be a part of my passion by clicking the like button, share this video as much as possible and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future adventures. Take only memories, leave only footprints. See you next week with a new adventure. Ciao.